Hey YouTube, how you guys doing? My name is Kyle, you know me as Dragonmar, and welcome to a new video. Today, we are going to be going over six key movement tips to help you guys stop dying all the time and hopefully keep you alive a bit longer. Starting things off, we are gonna start with probably the most important thing, and that is how to clear angles or clear corners or um, take peaks without exposing yourself to the entire map. So first we're gonna start with split here. And what I wanna show is how to push up through mid on defense while exposing yourself to only one angle at a time. Now it's actually fairly simple. The goal here and the goal you should have on every map is to hug the close wall to where you do not wanna be seen from. So if I'm pushing sewer, I want to hug this right wall here. If I am pushing the market, I want to hug the left wall over here. The reason for that is because the closer you are to the wall, the harder it is for them to be able to see you due to the angles that you create. As you can see, as I am walking down here, there is no way the person over here is going to see me. The only time they may see me is when I cross here. So when I want to peek sewer, what I like to do is I like to walk my way down here, take a quick peek over here into this market. A lot of people hide there. Then I swing back into this corner and I make my way down like this. And now I have a clear peek on sewer without exposing myself at all to anyone in market and vice versa. If we want to take a quick peek over at market, we are going to hold the green wall here, walk our way down and we are not going to cross this box. Remember, it's important to visualize the sight lines. If someone's holding this angle, the second you walk past this box to look deep into market, you're gonna get shot. Um, so it's really important that you pay attention. If, if, for example, you're peeking sewer and you think someone's on this left side, you can't walk past this. You know, you, you, you just can't because you, you need to either clear it first, throw a smoke down, um, or, or something else because you are gonna die every time. And I see it all the time. You see teammates all the time. They don't clear their angles first before they go for like a hard peak like this. They overcommit and they die. And next, I want to show you an attacking clear on heaven here on bombsite A on split. I want to show you what goes through my mind when I'm clearing angles, um, why I'm standing to certain objects and what I'm looking for. So first things first, we have ramp control. A lot of people like to hide up here in heaven. What I'm going to do first is I want to take a quick look over here at this right corner, see how close I can get, see if anyone's hiding in that corner. Now, once I've cleared that, I'm going to make my way over here to my right, close to this wall here, and I'm going to start clearing this box. A lot of people are going to peek from right here, and then someone may even be boosted up onto here as well, so I want to clear this headshot angle. Once I've done that, I'm moving into this corner here. Once I move into this corner, I'll be able to see the first rope, but not the second. When you peek, you always want to peek ropes at headshot level, because that's generally where people are going to be hiding. They want to expose um, as little of their body as possible. Next, you know you have to walk through this door, and there could be someone either at the rope or close. I personally always peek rope first, and I'm always ready to pull my mouse up and hit the headshot if there is a guy standing close here. But now we're inside, right? Now we gotta get very careful. We do not wanna expose ourselves to this door. So before we go too far forwards, like here, I wanna quickly move to my left, clear this corner fully, and start clearing heaven out, and then clear this closed corner. Once I've done that, I have secured 90% of heaven. All that's left is for me to make sure no one's in this close corner here to my left or in the doorway um, running to CT. So for now, I'm gonna take a quick peek, quick peek on the other angle, I start swinging my way around and boom, I've successfully cleared heaven. The only problem with clearing this part of heaven is you expose yourself to bomb site. So you always got to be careful of how you're clearing. You can definitely, if you want, use the wall to your advantage and walk up like this and then walk back like this to try to get the clear. Um, that is definitely a safer option, but generally I don't have time to do that in most of my clears up here, um, but it is something to keep in mind because remember the whole point of this is you wanna limit the angles that you could be seen from. It is very important in this game to change your movement speed, whether it be walking or sprinting. Remember, walking is silent. Now I want you to pay attention to the mini map here. As you can see when I run around, there is a white circle around my character. That is actually the range for my footsteps, um, for the audio of my footsteps to enemies. So anyone in this range can hear me. Now watch this. The second I start walking, it's gone because they can't hear me anymore and I'm silent. This is an excellent tool to use for players who are trying to figure out 
how far they can run towards the site before people start hearing them. As you can see, the closer I get to be, the more of it my footsteps start to encompass and people can hear me. If I'm running here, people all the way up in heaven can hear me. If I go over to this rope, people all the way in ropes, which is over here where it says mid vent, people over there can hear me. So it's really important to learn how far the sound of your footsteps spread because it can really give away your position and is one of the biggest downfalls of new players into games like this. Tip number three is to commit to peaks. Um, what this means is that if you are going to check an angle or you're going to peak an angle, you're going to swing out, you're going to pre-aim on the spot where you think they're going to be, and you are always going to commit. Um, it is very hard in this game to get away after you've been tagged by a shot. Remember, movement in Valorant is much slower than Counter-Strike, and on top of that, the sort of delay or the lag from when you get hit um, with a bullet is insane. It completely stops your movement. So in this game, jiggle peeking, much harder, right? Much, much harder. So when you go for a peek, always be prepared to fight instead of backing away. You should always be ready to take a shot at someone um, instead of just looking for information like this. Now, tip number four is actually how to do this in Valorant. It's about, it's about corner peeking. And, and in my experience, the only way I've been able to successfully do this over and over is with jump peeking. So let me show you how I would jump peek ramp. What I want to do here is I want to use my velocity in the air and I want to turn as I jump peek. So what I want to do is I want to come to this corner first to make sure I'm clear here. I think someone's up here, but I don't want to turn this corner to check because I think maybe they have an op or something. So what I want to do is I want to jump and strafe like this. I want to jump out and strafe may take a few times to get it, but one of these times, what you're gonna actually do is you're gonna get wide enough to get the angle, and if they are there, you can quickly check your minimap and there will be a red question mark. Um, I've used this many times to check to see if someone is there, even if I don't catch them. A lot of the times they'll show up on the minimap anyways and is a great tool to be able to um, corner peek in Valorant. Tip number five is once again about the volume of your movement. It is extremely important to stay as quiet as possible. That is why this tip is all about walking. You should be walking as much as you possibly can. Obviously, use the little radar indicator of your footstep um, volume and the range at which it spreads out to know when you're alerting enemies. But what's very important to remember is that you should be walking everywhere you can. The only times you should be running is when you are running actually out of time or when the enemy is already aware of your position. Sometimes you can actually fake them out by turning around and running and then walking your way back into a site. Um, there are a lot of mind games you can play with the sound of your footsteps, but the most important tip that I can give to people who are struggling and feeling like they are constantly getting caught out or people just know where they are is to walk like 20 times more. Now, finally, the last tip, tip number six, is about holding angles that complement your teammates. So this is a little bit of movement, a little bit of positioning, right? It's really important that when you're holding angles, whether it be on defense or offense, that the angle you're holding complements your teammate. If a teammate is holding the left side of mid, you should be holding the right side of mid and also never from the same spot, preferably. But... When, another thing is that when you are moving to clear angles, think of Sea Garage on the map Haven. You want to help your teammate. So what you need to do is if they are clearing close angles, you should be holding another angle that an enemy can appear from to make sure that they are safe to do so. And you should also be close enough to your teammate so here's the movement part. You should be close enough to your teammate to be able to react if they lose a gunfight. When your teammate dies, you should always be in a position to trade, but you should also always be holding an angle to support them. If they get the kill, you don't want them dying because someone else peeks them from another spot. So it's very important that if you are looking to become a better teammate, to stick with your teammates as they're clearing angles and to always be holding something that is supporting them. All right, guys, I think that's all for today. I hope you all enjoyed. 
Um, I am so excited for Rank to come out. I don't know if you guys saw the patch notes. It looks like it could come out any day now. So I'm extremely excited for that. Can't wait to make some more videos for you guys, um, especially Ranked Guides. Uh, things are going to start getting a lot better here. And with that being said, I hope you all enjoyed. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I know so many new people are watching these videos. So please, please, please remember to subscribe. And I hope you all have a great day. Take it easy and peace.